Hey guys, what are you up to? I was at work today taping for you guys. Now I know you better come through for Emperor Shay Shay. I'm at work taping. Guys, I need to talk to you guys. You know, I always tell you guys I'm I come on because you're my family. You are truly my family. Okay. I had some numbers that was coming through. Um, I miss your calls. So if you was trying to get a reading or something, please text me, okay? And the way the readings go, pay for it first. Text me that you pay for it. Well, if you do Apple Pay or Vimeo, they will text me. And then I'll see your number and I'll just call you guys back, okay? But also go to my Patreon channel. Guys, I've been trying to upload videos tonight, but I've been doing... Um, I had to order. What's on my mind tonight is that I had to order a lace white dress with a fascinator. I didn't even know what a fascinator was. A fascinator is a hat that they wear like in England. My oldest sister wanted to, um, this is what my sister has passed and requested for all of her sisters to do. It was eight of us. My mother had eight girls and, um, my sister that's passing, she's the next to the oldest. But my sister that's passing, we have different fathers. But my father raised her since she was two years old. The only father she ever known was my father. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just heartbroken. Um, when my kids passed, I never bought anything new because I wasn't an advocate of thinking you should go shopping for a funeral, especially for your children. But that's just impreciation way of thinking. That was my old way of thinking. But it's still so surreal to me. That's why I need to talk, guys. Um, what I want to tell you guys, this message that I want to tell you guys before I continue with my Zodiac readings. People should not take each other for granted at all. You know, life is so short. And sometimes people don't realize what they have until it's gone or either until they something happens to them. Me and my little sister is very close, okay? I mean, extremely close. And um, we were talking and she said, Shay Shay, I just don't understand why people are so uncom not compassionate. I told her, I said, you know why? Because they haven't been through that type of death. The death of a child will bring you to your knees, more than to your knees. You'll be lucky if you survive after that. Now, my mother is having to see her, her child die slowly. Guys, I don't ever want to imagine that. Okay? My child just OD'd and was found dead. I'm not trying to be so harsh, but that's just reality. You know, so I had to accept it abruptly, no matter what. But my mother stays on my mind daily because I've been through the death of two children. And to know that she has to watch it up close and personal, that's horrible. And for everybody to be so uncompassionate, Guys, I had other sisters, just listen, where it's two of my sisters, one from South Carolina, North Carolina, whatever the hell she's from, and she came for a week or two. She and my other middle sister started so much crap to the point to where it's ridiculous. It's like my older sister was like, okay, we're going to wear this, this, and that. They even bucking the system with that. Like, are you serious right now? It's so horrible to be dead inside. It's so horrible to be unhappy because you don't even have discernment as to when you should be messy or not or be rebellious. It's like little kids is living in them, man. And it's like, oh, forget her death. It's all about me. And you're looking at them like, are you freaking serious? Guys, it's some weird crap. I've been really, I'm not going to lie. I was going to say no, nah, but I've been really going through a lot of stress because of it. I don't want to stress. I bag up from it, me and my little sister, but it's hard. 
because like yesterday, Sunday, I, oh man, this weekend was beautiful, okay? It was the most beautiful weekend I had. But I was busy, 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 as always. <laughs> and Sunday, Saturday was a really big, huge day for me. And on Sunday, I had to put out readings. I had to go to the grocery store, clean my house, do a lot of things. And then my little sister's like, Shay Shay, I need you. We need to ride together. I'm going to come by and pick you up. I don't live far from my little sister. Um, we always do things together. I love her to death. We like freaking frat. <laughs> we like twins. Um, I'm sure when I get someone in my life, when I get a spouse or if if and when I get into a relationship, I'm sure I'm going to have to calm down with, the, you know, with dealing with her on that level. <laughs> but... <laughs> then I would have to give my time to my spouse or to whoever I'm in a relationship to. But she understands. But it's just like, we went out to my mom's house and it was like, it was so sad. And my mother, she waited for me. I kind of think she veers to me because I used to have such a special relationship with my mother before I left Houston when I was 18. And it's like, to see my mother hurt and I can't fix it is, is, is heartbreaking. But my mother got me through both the death of my kids, so I am to do the same for her. But guys, I just wanted to talk. You know, I just wanted to talk. I said I was going to stop drinking vodka. I'm not lying. I was going to stop drinking vodka. So, therefore, I'm venting to you guys. Because <laughs> vodka is hindering my weight, so I got to come down some more. So, um, you know, maybe I'm too honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm so honest because I think that's the only way to be, especially as an adult. And I'm so happy I had you guys to talk to and to vent to. Because by telling you guys the nature of my problem, I know for sure it can help you guys in your life. Some way, form, or fashion. Even though I'm an earth angel, even though I'm an angel having a human experience, I still want you guys to know that while I'm on this realm, I'm just as normal as you guys to a point. You know, I can read people's, I can hear people thinking. I mean, it's a lot of things. And sometimes it gets overwhelming. You know, people say, oh no, no it do not Yes it do. You know, to a certain point. I feel like the dude on a green mile if you guys ever watched that movie with Tom Hanks and um, what's that little dude's name? I forgot his name, but he dead now. And isn't that so weird that he's dead? Michael Clark Johnson. Thank you, Spirit. Michael Clark. I think that's his name. Spirit told me. Um, you know, Michael Duncan, Michael Clark Duncan, something like that. But the thing of it is, if you remember watching that movie, he says, he told Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks gave him the, the, um, the decision, I don't want to kill you because Tom Hanks figured out he was an earth angel and he was an angel having a human experience and he really didn't hurt them little babies, them little baby girls. He was trying to save them. He was trying to bring them back to life. He's trying to heal them so they wouldn't be dead anymore. And when Tom Hanks really looked through him and seen, oh my God, when he gave us a piece of himself to Tom Hanks, he um, told Tom Hanks, no, I want to die. Because taking on everybody else's energy make it feel like glass is breaking in my head. And you know, sometimes I feel that. I don't necessarily feel like glass is breaking in my head. I feel like I don't want to come off as codependent. I don't want to come off as I'm being too pushy. But when I see somebody's pain, it hurts me. It hurts me so and I be wanting to say something. And I said, no, Shay Shay, don't say anything because sometimes, you know, you want to be blunt, you want to be real. But sometimes certain people are sensitive and you just can't say everything that's on your mind even though the Holy Spirit is telling you to do it. I do it, but I'm learning how to do it. You have to be subtle. 
you know, because everybody doesn't take things the way you may take things, or they may not see it the way you see it. This world and this life can be heavy. It can be really heavy, I'm going to say that. But you know what song I'm getting, guys? I think I played this before for you guys. I hear in my head, and I've been hearing all day, Michael Bolton, when you love someone. I'm going to play it. I hope YouTube don't, like, bar me from YouTube for doing this. Because, you know, certain songs you can't play because they'll put, like, a flag on you or something. But it, it says to love someone. I've been having it on my mind. And I'm going to tell you what else I've been having on my mind. It's a female that's stealing or have stole money from someone. I've been having it on my mind since Saturday, like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. I woke up and I was like, oh my God, a female stealing somebody's money. I had told someone, are they stealing your money? Because I heard in my head, bitch, you a thief. Bitch, you ain't nothing but a thief. Bitch, you stole my money. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, a lot of my, um, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm trying to stop cursing, really. It's not ladylike, okay? I'm serious. And God won't do it on an unclean home. That's for real. And it's just not ladylike. It don't look right. You know, sometimes I go back and see the, the shows. I mean, not the shows, but the videos I make. And I'm like, ooh, no. <laughs> you know, it's a personal thing. Um, I'm going to change up. And I've been meditating today. And I don't want to come across as vulgar. Vulgarity is really not what I'm trying to do but I pick up on the different energies so a lot of energies are vulgar okay so but I'm a I'm a um I pray real hard and I ask Holy Spirit I do not want to curse I want my messages to be powerful and strong without cursing because when you curse people they it, it may be like entertainment to most people that's toxic but guys that's really toxicity I'm not kidding you and don't let no one tell you that that's not. That's toxic. Because at some point, people stop listening to you because you're cursing. Have a message, a good foundation of a message. And you don't have to curse. You know, and the, you are welcome the Holy Spirit even more when you are pure at heart, verbally pure. You know, you don't have to curse to get your point across. That's ignorant. Okay, so in frustration, you're not going to do those things. Sometimes I'll mess up every now and then. We, we're not perfect, guys. But seriously, it's a, it's a, I'm not even going to call this lady divine feminine. Somebody out there that um, sold herself to someone and came across like she was the better pick or she's like a pick me. Okay, I'm going to say it one time. She's like a pick me bitch. Pick me, pick me, pick me. And this person had a lot of options. And he ended up picking this person, and you know what happened? Wait, this is my daughter. Mimi, hold on a minute. I'm taping. And you know he ended up picking this person, and you know what happened? She really messed him over, stole his money, and did all this stuff to him. This is the message I'm getting. If it resonates, guys, put a purple heart in the um, comment box, in the comment section, okay? So, that's where I'm at with it. But I just wanted to talk, guys. I don't even know what the title is. But I love you guys, and I'm so happy I could talk to you guys. And guys, I'm going to tell you something right now. Now, I'm trying not to curse on these videos, but I'm going to tell you right now. You guys are wrong for this. We have almost 4,000 views, but we only have like 260 subscribers. Really? But you say you love Empress Shay Shay. You say that you are for me. I'm your person. I'm your. Tr you guys are my tribe. I'm your gang gang. Guys, come on through from me. Let's do a thousand subscribers. Really? All these views, it shouldn't be nothing to get a thousand subscribers. All you have to do is keep subscribing me to whoever you know. Tell them about me. I'm not going to curse or have vulgarity on my channel just to get subscribers. Not going to do that. It stops here. We're going to be respectful. We're going to do things decent in order. And we're going to give good, clear messages. That's what we're going to do. How about that? Okay? So... And if you would like to give a um, a love donation or angel donation of any amount, go in the About section, and it'll show you how to get um, the pay method. I prefer Vimeo or Apple Pay. I did fix my Apple Pay. So whatever you guys choose is in, the, is in not my description, but my About. See, and this is why it's so serious, 
to have um, a thousand subscribers because YouTube then opens it up for me to